with our nails to suit our framing gun, there's two different kinds of shanks. Here you will see that this one here is a smooth shank and this one here is a ring shank. The ring shank is used usually on really soft timber and that aids in the holding capacity of the nail. The nail gets fired into the timber. This red die turns into a lubricant and when it sets, it sets as an adhesive. Okay, so it's got an extremely strong grip. These are Australian made nails. This is something we're extremely proud of. We're a premium brand and there is no other nail manufacturer to suit our tools. The most economical way to purchase nails for this tool is to buy them in what we call a value pack. The value pack here, you'll see on the front cover, we're trying to make it as easy as possible. You've got a picture of the nails to suit the particular tool and it's got an illustration of three fuel cells. Each fuel cell will do a thousand shots as a minimum and inside a value pack is 3,000 nails. So three fuel cells, 3,000 nails, it'll do the job quite nicely for you at a competitive rate. If you just open up the box, you'll see inside all the nails, there will be 3,000 nails and there is three fuel cells. And also inside the box, once you take the fuel cells out, they'll usually be sitting here at the bottom of the fuel holders. You'll see all the connectors for your fuel cells. This square connector, this is to suit the older style framing tools that we used to have probably about five years ago plus. This connector here, this is to suit our current models. Now, what we have here is a twist and lock fuel cell. You'll see on the back here, there's instructions to say twist and lock. So all you need to do is you just need to line up the grooves of the cap, sit them in place, and then lock it in place. If you're running an old tool and you need to run this, it's the same thing. Just sit the cap into place and sit it in there. Now, a common thing that happens, tradies, I know you're guilty of it. What happens is, about five years ago when we used to run these, these connectors for this fuel cell, all we used to do is sit this on top and push it in place. But now we've got the twist and lock fuel cell. If you try and do the same thing, you'll snap the stem. So that's what happens. Very often I see a fuel cell and uh, apparently a customer's brought it back and said it's faulty and there's no stem on the top and the only reason for that is because you guys haven't read the instructions. Another thing that everyone should make note of is on the bottom of the fuel cells are our expiry dates, okay? Usually uh, the fuel cells will last about 18 months by the time they hit the shelf reliably. We've got a new fuel mixture inside our fuel cells so the new, the new fuel mixture will allow the end user to use the nail gun on extremely cold mornings down to uh, minus 10 degrees and on hot days up to 49 degrees if you're that crazy. On extremely hot days I would advise against storing it in the back of your car um, as it can get really really hot and it can become quite dangerous. Over here we also have the Pazload range of cleaning equipment here. This is the degreaser. This degreaser is specially formulated for PASLOAD tools, okay? Our pneumatic tools and also our gas powered tools. The reason it's specially formulated is because it's a fast drying degreaser. So if you are cleaning out your gas tools and you do get some overspray on the electronics, you're not going to damage those in any way because this is a fast drying formula. This here is our lubricating oil and just a dab will do you. The smaller one here, as you can see on the front, it's specially formulated for our impulse or our gas tool range. And the other one here is formulated for our pneumatic tools. You cannot use our impulse range of lubricant uh, in a air powered tool, because what happens is over time you'll end up damaging the tool and the lubrication oil actually ends up going a bit gummy and a bit like chewing gum and you'll damage the tool.